Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang solving rational equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, from the word itself, rational equations, ito ay equations kung saan binubuo ng rational algebraic expressions. So, basically, kung magsasolve tayo ng rational equations, ito yung process ng paghahanap natin ng value ng variable, let's say x, dun sa rational expressions na magsasatisfy doon sa rational equations. Okay, so ngayon, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano yung steps pag magsasolve tayo ng rational equations. Okay, to solve a rational equation, the first step is to clear the equation of fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCM of the denominators. Then, we carry out the equation solving procedure as learned. Okay, so laging goal natin kapag nagsasolve tayo ng rational equation ay maalis muna natin yung mga denominators kasi nga meron tayong rational equations, meron tayong fractions. And then, after natin maalis yung denominators, doon na tayo magsasolve ng usual way of solving for unknown in an equation. Para pala maalis yung denominators, hanapin muna natin yung LCD ng bawat denominators doon sa given rational equations natin. And then, imumultiply natin both sides of the equation doon sa LCD. Okay? So, let's try to solve the first example. Solve x over 3 plus 2 equals x over 2. So, titignan nyo agad kung ano-ano yung mga denominators. So, this time, sa example natin, ang denominators natin ay 3 tsaka 2. So ngayon, hanapin nyo yung LCD nun. Ano ba yung LCD ng 2 tsaka 3? So obviously, 6 diba? So kasi yun yung unang pinakamababang number na pag hinanap nyo yung multiples nila, dun sila magko-common sa 6. So therefore, pagkahanap nyo ng LCD na 6, imumultiply nyo both sides of the equation by that LCD. So multiply natin tong left side ng 6, then multiply din natin tong right side ng 6. Okay, and then, Distributive yung gagawin nyo ha. So, therefore, dito sa left side, pag dinistribute natin yung 6, so parang 6 times x over 3, makakancel yung 3 sa denominator. So, 1 na lang to, and then yung 6 magiging 2. Right? So, parang 2 times x is 2x na lang. Then next, yung 6 naman times positive 2. So, 6 times positive 2 is positive 12. Okay? So, tapos na tayo sa left side. Doon naman tayo sa right side. So, multiply din natin x over 2 times 6. So, parang makakancel yung 2 dito sa denominator. Tapos yung 6 may matitirang 3 kasi may common factor sila na 2. Therefore, multiply na natin. 3 times x is 3x. Okay. So, therefore, nawala na yung mga denominators. So, parang usual uh, equations ka na lang. So, solve na natin yung x dito. So, transpose natin itong 2x sa kabila. Tapos iwan itong 12. So, magiging 12 is equal to 3x Itong 2x, dahil tinanspose natin, from positive, magiging negative 2x. Okay, so we have 12 is equal to 3x minus 2x is equal to x. So therefore, the answer is x is equal to 12. Ngayon, pwede nyo i-substitute kung magsasatisfy ba. So try natin dito. So x over 3 plus 2 is equal to x over 2. So, Sabihin natin yung nakuha nating x na 12. So, 12 over 3 plus 2. Tapos, 12 over 2. So, 12 over 3 is 4. Plus 2 is equal to 12 over 2 is 6. Okay? So, therefore, 4 plus 2 is 6. Is equal to 6. Therefore, correct yung solution natin. Kasi minsan, yung masasolve natin x, ay pwede natin ma-reject. Kasi pag... Yung nasolve natin na x ay magpapa-zero dun sa original rational equations natin. Ire-reject natin yun. Kasi yun yung restriction natin sa rational equations, di ba? Yung value ng x na magpapa-zero dun sa denominator ay hindi natin pwedeng tanggapin as solution. Okay? Next, we have 3 over x minus 2 is equal to 2 over x plus 2. So, hanapin uli natin yung LCD. So, obviously, check natin yung ano mang, kung ano yung mga denominators na involved. So, itong x minus 2, tsaka x plus 2. So, hanapin natin yung LCD nung dalawang yon x minus 2, tsaka x plus 2. So, sabi ko kapag maghahanap tayo ng LCD, so, kung ano man yung mga denominators, automatic mapapasama sila sa LCD. 
Kaso sa check nyo kung merong nag-common. Kapag merong naging common, i-write nyo lang yung factor na yun as isa. Then, pipiliin nyo yung highest exponent na nag-appear. So, since wala naman nag-common sa kanila, automatic itong dalawa na to yung magiging LCD. So, yung product nila. Okay? So, ito yung LCD natin. Tapos, multiply natin ngayon both sides of the equation by that LCD. So, itong left side, multiply natin sa x minus 2 tsaka x plus 2. Okay? Ito ring right side. So, x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay? So, pag minulipay natin to left side, so makakancel natin tong x minus 2, diba? So, matitira x plus 2 times 3. So, parang 3 times x plus 2 equals, ito namang right side, pag minulipay natin, ang makakancel ay itong x plus 2. So, matitira x minus 2 times 2. So, parang 2 times x minus 2. Okay? And then, simplify natin. Distribute natin itong left side. So, 3x plus 6 is equal to, ito ring right side, distribute, magiging 2x minus 4. Okay? So, isolate natin yung constant sa may variable. So, let's say itong susparin itong 2x sa kabila. Tapos itong 6x sa kabila. Okay? So, magiging ano yan? 3x Itong 2x magiging negative 2x na equals negative 4. Itong 6 magiging negative x sa kabila. So, therefore, 3x minus 2x is x is equal to negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Okay, so therefore, our solution is negative 10. Now, kung isa-check nyo, kung pag sinapsitut natin itong negative 10 dito sa mga denominators, magpapa-zero ba siya? Hindi. So, therefore, acceptable tong solution natin na x is equal to negative 10. Okay? Next, we have 3 over x minus 1 minus 2 over x minus 1 is equal to 4 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, so hanapin muna natin yung LCD ng mga denominators na involved. So, itong x minus 1, x minus 2, tsaka itong x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, di ba kapag meron tayong hindi pa nafa-factor na denominator, ang ginagawa muna natin ay fina-factor natin to bago natin hanapin yung LCD nila. So, factor out muna natin to So, magiging, ano yan, quantity isang x, isang x, tsaka 2, 1, so negative, negative. Okay? So, therefore, hanapin na natin yung LCD. So, itong x minus 1, tapos x minus 2, Tapos itong x minus 1, x minus 2. So, automatic magiging part lahat to ng LCD. Pero check natin kung meron bang nag-common. Itong x minus 1 may common ba? Yes, common dito sa factor. Nung pangatlong rational expression natin. So, therefore, isusulat lang natin yung x minus 1 as 1. Okay? And then, 1 lang naman yung nag-appear sa kanilang exponent. So, yun yung highest exponent na ilalagay natin. Itong x minus 2 naman, may naging common ba? Yes, ito rin, common, ba? So, therefore, isusulat lang natin yun as 1. So, x minus 2. And then, yung ano yung pinakamatas na exponent na nag sa kanila is 1 lang din. So, 1 lang isusulat natin. So, dito wala na kasi nasulat na natin, ba? So, therefore, ito yung LCD. x minus 1 times x minus 2. So, ngayon, multiply na natin both sides of the equation by this LCD. Okay? So, Yung left side, multiply natin sa x minus 1, tsaka x minus 2. Tapos, itong right side, ganun din, multiply natin sa LCD, x minus 1 times x minus 2. Okay, so distribute uli natin to ha. So, dito muna sa 3 over x minus 1. Pag multiply natin sa LCD na to, anong mangyari? Makakancel natin tong x minus 1. Matitira, x minus 2 times 3. So, magiging 3 times x minus 2. Then, minus, ito naman, x minus 1 times x minus 2 multiplied by 2 over x minus 2. So, makakancel tong x minus 2. Matitira x minus 1 times 2. So, minus 2 times x minus 1. Okay? Equals. Dito naman sa right side. So, obviously, makakancel lahat kapag manulitipay natin, ba? So, therefore, matitira ay 1 times 4 na lang. Or, simply 4. Okay? So, ngayon, Ito na yung nabuo nating equation. So, solve na lang natin. Simplify natin yung mga product. So, ito, distribute natin. So, 3x minus 6. And then ito, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And then negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 
2. Okay? Equals 4. So, combine muna natin yung mga similar terms. So, 3x minus 2x is x. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 is equal to 4. Now, para ma-solve si x, tapos lang natin tong negative 4. So, magiging x is equal to 4 plus positive 4 na siya. And then, x is equal to 8. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is x is equal to 8. Now, check nyo ulit kung yung 8 ba ay magpapa-0 dun sa original rational equations natin. So, obviously, hindi kasi x minus 1 naman tayo, x minus 2, tsaka x minus 1, x minus 2. So, therefore, pag sinasit natin yung 8 sa x dito, hindi magpapa equal sa 0 yung denominator. So, therefore, the answer x is equal to 8 is acceptable. Okay? Next, we have x plus 6 over x is equal to 5. Okay, so hanapin muna natin yung LCD. So obviously, isa lang naman yung denominator natin, ba? Ito lang x. So pag hinanap natin yung LCD, yun na mismo kasi siya lang naman yung denominator. Eh. So therefore, multiply na natin both sides of the equation by the LCD which is x. Okay, so multiply natin yung left side sa x, tsaka yung right side sa x. So distribute natin to sa magiging x squared plus Itong 6 over x times x cancels si x, so positive 6 na lang. Equals, itong 5 times x is 5x. Sinapansin nyo, quadratic equation tayo kasi meron tayong highest exponent dun sa variable natin na 2. So, apply natin kung ano natutunan natin sa pagsisolve ng quadratic equations. So, ba sabi ko kapag quadratic equations, lagi nating goal ay may equate sa 0. So, therefore, transpose natin tong 5x dito sa left side. So, magiging x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, ngayon, apply natin yung factoring. So, factor natin tong x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, we have x, x, then 3, 2, tapos minus, minus. Okay? Equal 0. So, ngayon, Apply natin yung zero product principle. So, therefore, equate natin each factor na to sa zero. So, x minus 3 is equal to zero. And x minus 2 is equal to zero. Now, solve natin for x. Itong x minus 3 is equal to zero. Magiging transpose lang. Magiging x is equal to 3. And then, itong x minus equal zero. Transpose lang din. Magiging x is equal to positive 2. So, therefore, the solutions are x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 2. Okay, so meron tayong instances ha, na pwede tayong magkaroon ng more than one solution. For example, this case, meron tayong two solutions kasi yung kinalabas ng equation natin after nating ma-multiply yung both sides of the equation by the LCD ay quadratic equation. Now, check natin kung magpapa-zero ba sa denominator itong 3 tsaka 2 base dun sa original rational equations natin. Obviously, hindi kasi yung may denominator lang naman natin ay itong term na x na 6 over x, ba? Which is, kapag sinapit natin yung 3 tsaka 2, hindi naman magpapa-equal sa 0 yung denominator. So, therefore, para hong acceptable itong solution natin na x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 2. Okay? So, basically, ganun lang mag-solve ng rational equation. So, hanapin nyo lang muna yung LCD ng mga denominators na involved doon sa rational equations. And then, pag nahanap nyo na yung LCD, I-multiply nyo lang both sides of the equation, yung left tsaka right side, doon sa LCD. And then, ang magiging result noon ay mawawala na yung denominator. And then, solve nyo na kung paano tayo mag-solve ng ordinary uh, equations in one variable. So, if ever man na nagkaroon kayo ng solution na nagpa-zero doon sa denominator, kapag sinaptitute nyo doon sa original equation yung nasolve nyo variable na yon for x, ire-reject nyo kasi... Bawal tanggapin yung magpapa-zero na solution dun sa denominator, dun sa original rational equations. Okay? So, that's it for this topic. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.